Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Joseph Colors Find Your Hue Foundation. I meant to wear this while I was in California. It would have been a full week that I was wearing it, but unfortunately I forgot it and um, was only able to wear it for one full day, but it was a really long day. It was over 12 hours. I do have footage of how it wore the first and the only time I wore it in California. And to what I'm going to do today is insert that footage for you guys and then give you guys my final thoughts. But it's 7.45 a.m. in Chicago. And I will check back in with you guys at the end of the day, which will probably be about the same time p.m. though. And if you want to use me as your shade reference, I'm 123 currently, which I'm probably like a one, I'm sorry, an N40, not a 45, I'm definitely not that dark, but um, maybe like a 43, 44 right now in MAC. And shade 122 is what I would be um, without any kind of a tan. So if you guys are curious and if you're wanting to see how it wore in my review, then let's go. I am back from California and as you guys can see, mama's got a little bit of a tan going on. Okay, so let me tell you guys, I am going to be using the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation. I was able to film my wear test. It is my wear test. For you guys, this is a shade 123. 122 would be my non tan color um but i was i wore this the morning i flew out to california and i had it on for over 12 hours and let me tell you guys it was beautiful it was absolutely beautiful um now i thought i'll wear it while i'm in california right i was there a whole week and i figured i'd be able to use it and come back and give you guys my full blown one week in you know review i forgot my foundation <laughs> i was in california without foundation but luckily i had my makeup forever powder compact in my purse and i almost pulled it out too and i'm like no let's just take it in case you know, like I don't want to wear foundation. I need to make it a little bit quicker. And I managed to make that work. So now here I am showing you guys this foundation and it's actually lighter. Oy. It's lighter than my tan, but that's okay. So I'm going to take a little bit more. I didn't even do a full pump. And I'm going to just add that to my cheeks because I do like my cheeks to have a little bit more coverage because that's where you tend and around my mouth um on my cheeks is where you tend to see my hyperpigmentation and sun damage and I have some new freckles from being out in the sun we did so much while we were out there the first day we got in we spent the whole day with my mom's family um, which was nice because we only see them maybe once a year. And um, then the second day, oh, and then we drove to San Diego that night. My mom's side of the family lives in LA. Then we, we drove out to San Diego and um, that was where my brother was getting married. So that was Wednesday. Thursday we got up and... Um, we ran some errands because he was getting married Friday and we picked my dad and my other sister up at the airport. I took the kids to a museum, which two kids is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, my niece is going, she's four. I was going to say she's going to be five, but she's four. And my son is two and oh my gosh, guys, it's a lot. And then we went and we got our nails done. And my brother had a barbecue at his house, which is super fun and cute. They have two dogs, two um, little dogs. And then they have 
um, I think they're Boston Terriers, if I recall. I don't remember what they are, but I'm pretty sure they're Boston Terriers. And then they have um, two massive turtles in their backyard. It's pretty cool. And a cat. Um, and what else? The food was really good. I think that was probably like my favorite, one of my favorite days because, you know, we had in and out we always have in and out when we're there because of course we don't have it in Chicago. Um, but it's just one of those things where it felt like family and food, you know, like what you would have at home and not like, oh, we're traveling so you're having to eat out. Um, the next day was a wedding and it was beautiful. It was beautiful. I'll post a picture so you guys can see what it looked like. I'm taking my banana powder by Fenty. I found that by baking this, it wore better. Um, I had wore it one other time and I felt like the longevity wasn't really there, but really packing the powder on made a difference. The wedding day was a lot of fun. It was kind of stressful. The kids were just, over it um we've been doing a lot of running around and but it was beautiful i would say it falls under one of my favorite weddings all right guys since i am a little bit more on the tan side i'm going to take cashew um and i'm going to use that all over my face so friday was that saturday we had a beach day it was so much fun my brother and my sister-in-law had another barbecue at the beach. The kids had a lot of fun um, with the ocean and they were digging and looking for, there were these like little clams that were very much alive. Like every time a wave came in, it would peel a layer, layer of sand off and you would see just like, I don't know if it was hundreds or thousands, it was just a bunch of them all over. You could even feel them under your feet. With Fenty, just a, a little side note, with the Fenty powder, you can't let it bake too long, or at least I can't, because it then starts to look really dry on my skin. So I didn't leave it on very long. And now I'm just buffing cashew all over my face. And voila, I really like the way this looks. Okay? He says crocodile. He says guacadee. <laughs> So I have a little burn mark here. It's not really little, it goes across on the bottom. I was straightening my hair and I got myself. It's one of those that has like the rounded edge. Yeah, it hurt, but, and it wasn't very long either. It was just on for a really long time. All right guys, so this is what the foundation looks like so far. So after the beach, that was, we were out there for quite a bit. That following morning, my sister and I took the kids to the zoo, the San Diego Zoo, which is massive. And um, that was nice. I'm taking my Makeup Forever bronzer. I dropped it and it broke, but this is, I can't even see the shade anymore. It's a darker color. Um, and I'm using the Sephora Demi Eventail. Demi Fan Brush, number 72. Yeah, so we were at the zoo and they had a lot of fun. They got their faces painted, which people were so surprised that my son actually sat through that. But I think because he saw my niece and then saw like what the actual um, end look was, he was excited to have it done. Alrighty. So for my blush, I'm gonna be using Charlotte Tilbury's Pill Talk Blush, which I think might be, we'll see. Nope, it works. I thought it was gonna be a little too light. I like this blush a lot, but I feel like the center just kind of makes it look a little bit ashier, especially right now that I'm tan. I feel like it looks a little dirty on me. We're gonna have to make it work. I'm going to take this blush. So Marco, when I'm filming, 
likes to sit on my lap now or when I'm getting ready. Yeah, puppy. And I'm going to just say I apologize because he's a mess right now. I made him a smoothie. ¿Qué pasó? Dile hola. All right, guys. So for my lips, I'm going to be using this YSL lipstick in the shade 04. It's this like berry purpley shade. All right, guys. So this is what the foundation looks like. Um, but I don't. As you guys can tell, it looks smooth. Um, I have coverage and I, I really love the way this looks. I'm telling you guys that originally when I wore it and I used a light powder to set it, I was not a huge fan. But after um, baking and really making sure that it's set, it wore beautifully. Like it looked beautiful. At the end of the day, it just looks like fantastic, beautiful, glowy skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the footage of the day that I traveled when I had it on and then I'm going to come back at the end of today and show you guys what it looks like and give you guys my final thoughts. Hey guys, welcome back to my... Hey guys, welcome back to... Hey guys, welcome back tonight. <laughs> hey guys, it's 3.45 a.m. And I wanted to show you guys what the Dose of Colors foundation looks like. I have on shade 123, but I set it with a Fenty Banana Powder. I've worn it once already, and I can tell you that you definitely need to bake it if you are normal to... If you're oily, you're for sure going to have to do it. If you're dry, probably not. But I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. I don't have on highlighter. I just have on a little bit of blush, bronzer, mascara. You guys know I need my mascara. And a little bit of lipstick. So, guys, I have on the Kat Von D brow pomade with some of the Milk Kush fiber brow thing. And let me tell you, I ain't mad. It looks good. All right. I will check in with you guys and let you see how it wears. But so far, I'm really liking it. I've had this foundation on for 12 hours and I'm going to tell you guys that it's pretty hot in California. And man, it looks so good. So apparently the trick to making this foundation last long is um, using a heavier powder or baking it but I have to say I am loving the way my skin looks all right guys it's that time of the day so as you guys can see I look really glowy I don't look oily my makeup's held up pretty well I wore sunglasses today so um, the makeup kind of came off a little bit on the sides of my nose, but I would just kind of do one of these and blend it down. My nose is a little bare, but other than that, I would say my makeup looks pretty good. So with that being said, this foundation really does a great job at staying on. If you are combination, you definitely need to use a heavier powder to set it or bake, um, which I don't always bake. But there are times with foundations where I know they don't wear very well unless I do or unless I use a heavier powder. Um, if you don't mind touching up, if you are just naturally that girl or boy, then um, you're more than welcome to do that also. I have had the experience where I just wore the foundation on its own without baking. And um, I found myself touching up a few times a day because my t-zone got pretty oily been oily in my t-zone i knew i had to bake or i need to go in with a heavier powder and um that's what led me to 
figure out this concoction so as you guys can see everything still looks pretty good oh and you should know it is now eight o'clock so i've had this on for quite a bit i like the coverage i like how it feels i like how it blends out um i really have to tell you guys that i do enjoy this foundation very much I hope you guys were able to see in my um, wear test just how pretty it looked as it progressively wore during the day. Um, I really do like it and I think that it wears really well. It looks really pretty. It gives me coverage. I genuinely don't have anything bad to say about this foundation. I think that if you're on the fence about it, get it. I think that if you're normal combination, you're going to love this foundation off the bat because I think that it's very easy to work with and you're getting great coverage without looking or feeling heavy. I think if you're dry, you can definitely wear this um, and not feel uncomfortable or dry or feel like it emphasizes any texture in your skin or dry patches because there's enough hydration I guess in this foundation to feel comfortable I think if you're oily you're gonna have to bake or really go in with a mattifying primer um, a heavier setting powder or e or even blot a few times a day like chances are if you're that oily you're blotting anyway or you're using um, you know a powder to just kind of remove some of the drying or shininess from your complexion so it wouldn't be anything out of the ordinary but it is really beautiful it does look really natural it feels very comfortable on the skin and it just looks better as you wear it so that is my two cents on this foundation i hope you guys enjoyed this review please be sure to like this video subscribe and leave a comment down below letting me know if you've tried this